Hi guys and welcome back to another Heroes and Generals video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to be a better Soviet light tanker. I recently did a video on the Germans as you can see here using the Panzerkampfwagen 1 Alfs A and how can you can use it to uh, support infantry. Well the Soviet nation gets a tank very similar to that called the T-38 Model 1937 and then they also get the T-26 model 1933. What baffles me is why do we get a later model tank before we get the early model tank? We get a 1937 was after 1933. So why do we get the 37 first? Why would they even revert back to using a light, light machine gun only? When as you can see in 37 they were clearly using 45mm cannons. Do, do, do you see? It should be the other way around, but the reason why is because the T26 is actually a pretty good tank. But what we're going to do is, unfortunately, you can't select multiple tanks anymore. You can only select one and uh, load in with it. Shame, really. But, uh, of course, again, they've done the same thing here. You unlock the, the T3485 first rather than the T3476, which is kind of weird because... The, the T-3485, in my honest opinion, is a much better tank than the T-3476. And uh, they're running but one heavy, which is the IS-2 uh, 1944. And only one tank destroyer, the SU-85. I don't know why they don't have an SU-100, but, you know, they've only got the SU-85. But still, this guide is about the light tanks. Now, as you can see, I am currently working on trying, and I am so bloody close, to unlocking the BT-7. Very similar to what I've done with both the Americans and the Germans, in which I've unlocked all the light tanks. And unlike the Chaffee, I will be buying the BT-7. I just have to farm up the credits, as you can see. I'm, I'm a wee bit short, because I did buy the T-26 at 59,000 credits. Now, the T-26 is a very unique tank, other than the T-38, and you're going to see that in the video. So what we're going to do is the first video, well, the first combat footage you're going to see is me using the T-38 model 1937. So we're going to enter combat. We're going to go into a stage battle. Now, I do have all the maps on check, uh, checked. So I'm going to, uh, for, the, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to uncheck them all. And I'm only going to stick with skirmish battles, as you can see. Um, in my honest opinion, I think they need to re... I, th I think they need to add more... Uh, more skirmish maps. Uh, and we are back. Looks like we are on Mountain Village. A little simple light tank skirmish, which is pretty good for us. We do have what appears to be a paratrooper. In fact, two of them. Um, the uh, blue, uh, Tiger Blue, and uh, Commander Gunner. Lovely names, by the way. Um, they have blue stripes, which is either paratrooper or fighter pilot and fighter pilots are not allowed in skirmish so they're most likely going to be paratroopers so of course we're going to start off at our typical spawn and what I like to do unlike most typical because other tanks have spawned in off of my tank, thank you buddy. <laughs> That'll be a blue tank. <laughs> now I'm going to let them go ahead and take the point. There's a reason why I want them to go ahead and take the point. And that is... This build, all we do, here we go, action. 
pace of the American. Oh. There we go. Gunned down three of them. More on the way. So we're going to back up a little bit. Let's have a better arc traverse. The reason why I finish off the vehicles is I don't know if they're going to have Panzerfausts and whatnot on them because you can't see them. So there we go. Again. Again, I'm just going to wait right here again. Because this tank's designed to take out infantry, not armor. I mean, you can hurt uh, M2s. But that is pretty much the only thing you can hurt. Also, that's another thing I've learned not to do now lately, is use this little slot as to your advantage. I know a lot of people complain and say tanks don't have a lot of view range. You know what? That to me is a third world problem. goal is 9 and 0. Still not too bad for the light like tank. Again, just stick to what you know. Stick to attacking soft targets. Don't get too cocky. You know, pay attention to the road. Pay attention to tree lines, to bushes, to walls, to windows. Just pay attention all around. And if if you have to get out of your vehicle, do so. Always check that bush there because that's where they like to hide. Another place is these little. There we go. Yeah, he's hiding up top there. Oh, 
him. Back down, getting hit. Yeah, that's not good. Kind of got ganged on while friendlies were just ignoring him. That's fine. That's fine, my first death. I'm not gonna get mad, I'm not gonna get mad. Happens. One of the things that a lot of players tend to not take into account is rule one, you're going to die. Get used to it. Okay? Death is a part of the game. Get used to it. It's how you learn. It's a hard lesson that I had to learn the hard way. Okay? Can't be too I'm freaking, you know, I'm the bee's knees, I'm the dog's bollocks, you know, you, you're not, okay? No one is Cotton Gamer but Cotton Gamer, you know? No one is uh, Wolfbane except for Wolfbane. No one... E took a really bad hit there from an RPG. That right there is a Stuart. I am not going to engage him. I'm actually going to fire off the rest of these rounds real quick. Again, I am not going to engage that Stuart. But apparently the Stuart chased me down. about to see why the M5 Stuart, in my honest opinion, is one of the broken tanks of the game. Because in order to hurt the Stuart, dude, I'm taking on tanks, come on! Get on if you're getting on! Because in order to hurt tanks, you're gonna have to flank those little pains in the arse. And I'm going to have to make every one of my uh, uh, hundreds plus rounds count. If this friendly can grab a Panzerfaust. I believe that's one of the Stuarts gone. The one that nailed me. And the other appears to have... Uh, the other... No, 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 he's still there. Yep, there he is. He's turning. Gotta get out. I do best, shall we? May I lost my tank, but it don't mean I can't do my damn job.
Yep, Kate got me. Still 20 and 3, I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. Could do better, I could do better. <laughs> okay, first things first, in order to take B, this is what you've got to do. You can't go down that way, so you've got to stop. There's the bridge. Even though you're in an amphibious tank, you still need to... Uh, you, your tank can only cross at certain crossings. Now, one of the things you've got to be careful about is a lot of light tanks tend to get stuck there because of that one tree. They just think it's just the tip of a bush. It's not. It's an actual bloody tree and it will, will get your tank stuck. So first things first, I like to uh, follow this little brown streak. kind of looks like a poop, hashtag poop nap, you know? A lot of people are like, that's a long way around. Yeah, it is. But it's the safest way around. And at the same time, you'll see why. Because I'll be able to push up here safely. And at the same time, See what I'm saying? Get shots into A. But I'm gonna head to B. These guys have requested help at Bravo, so I am moving to Bravo. The US has captured A. We have captured B. Okay, we have fire fight going up ahead. Let's push up. Let's help our comrades. Okay, notice how I'm not leaving my tank. I'm not even opening up my controller. I'm not. High chance it could be a recon out there. He wants my number. You know, see? I don't know what's out there. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Just nailed that chaffy. this lit, you will get your tank stuck. <laughs> Again, learn, learn from Cobra's mistakes, guys. Learn from Cobra's mistakes. Again, we are 26 and 3. It's not bad, not bad at all. 
it, it, it's a KDR that I could be proud of. Okay, there's plenty of targets and friendlies here. I'm actually gonna head around here. Yeah, it's a friendly. Okay, we have neutralized the chateau. Now again guys, I, I don't stick around. I mean, I, I'm a tank. I'm supposed to be moving. Now that was a damn good close game. That's going to get a five star from me. So we're going to close this window. Let's take a look at what we achieved, shall we? We destroyed three tanks, which is pretty impressive for only using a light machine gun. Armor machine gun action is almost 8,000. Battle participation of one, because I only used one soldier. Control points neutralized, 79 to 68. Damage dealt, 2,491. 74 combat experience for that defense we did defend the cap once enemies excuse me enemies killed 26 savior kills time in combat and victory there we go now it cost us 1527 credits in resupply and rearm okay that includes both my pph all its upgrades my tank and all its upgrades and we banked 6,356 credits plus 1,589. So, we actually did make a turn good profit of almost 6,000 plus credits. So, let's take a look at their losses real quick. They lost 126 infantry, we lost 47. They lost no APCs, nor did we. We lost no motorcycles. We lost one terrain vehicle, they lost 51. That's Jeeps, by the way. Let's see, we had four recons, of which we lost four. They lost none. They lost no infantry fighting vehicles or APCs. Tank crews, we lost 38, they lost 17. Light armor, we lost 32, they lost 15. And pretty much that's it. As you can see guys, it was an, uh, what it comes down to is attrition. If you know what your tank is capable of doing, only stick to that okay guys and uh, uh, what else is there to say i've unlocked the anti-tank supply crate now and i've also unlocked the bt7 nicely done now let's double check those met our ribbons real quick and see what we actually can do i'm going to take a look at what i unlock what i did unlock let's see uh my pp pbd 40 specialist because i did kill eight enemies with it holy cow i didn't realize i killed that many with it uh, we did kill eight with our PPD. Again, my PPD only has the spring and trigger upgrades. Ammunition, barrel, and everything else is pretty much stock. What else is there? Uh, we killed eight people with our armor. Of course, our SMG assault almost ranked up there. Tactical, almost ranked up there. Physical fitness, because we did get out, we did have to get out the tank and run around for a bit. Combat movement moved up a little bit. Armor assault. Oh, look what that big chunk of armor assault right there that is beautiful that is beautiful 18 enemies killed three arm you know just you can do it guys you can do it okay most people see the fact that the tank only has lngs and it's like oh, but it does. now i'm going to show you what i have in my tank yes i do have the b30 armor piercing rounds i don't have the bz uh, bzt now immediately as soon as you can unlock the armor piercing rounds my friend go for it i would do it now as for me i do have plans on probably taking the anti-tank crate supply but not right right away because i do currently have the ammunition supply crate reason why is because i usually run this light tank in a platoon with other light tanks i.e one of my friends who has a bt7 and one of my friends who has a uh a t26 so they've got cannons to help deal with whatever it is and i've got my light light machine gun to scratch away at their paint so we tend to just focus fire or alpha strike a target. 
Now for strike is where you let rip everything on that one target. You just don't stop pegging the trigger, pretty much. As soon as you see an armor penetration, you just roughly stick in that general direction and just change your aim for recoil. But that's pretty much it, guys. Now, what else is there? Um, that's pretty much it. My 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 my, my tanker yuri was actually a regular foot infantry that i turned in into a tanker i should have kept him infantry but you know what i didn't care i wanted to get a tanker video out for you guys so of course he's running the heavy set that's to stop those pesky snipers you know if i'm out repairing which i don't have the wrench yet but i i do plan on getting the wrench and of course my uh, fast reload for my ppd now what weapons do i carry i carry the ppd 40 the only upgrades, again, on the PPD-40 is as follows. Marksman's trigger, light and bolt. That's it. Everything else about this, this gun is bone stock, as you can see. Stock, 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 stock. Even the paint is stock. Barrel, stock. Everything else is stock. Don't see the point. I do not see the point. If this gun... If we take a look at the, at the gun's damage profile real quick. On a stock bullet... Uh, under 25 meters, which is roughly where most enemy are, because they're usually trying to put a, a, a magnet bomb or something on your tank. See, so you, obviously they're under 25 meters. So I'm doing 25 points of damage. So if they do not have heavy set of any kind, it's a four shot kill. It's 654 rounds per minute. My time to kill on average per sap per soldier is going to be about a second and a half, if that. Now, I could go ahead and throw in maybe the Len of Misha rounds or the Len of Deval rounds, which again, will now do roughly about 30 to 32 points of damage, which means without heavy set, a three shot kill. Do you see? If they do have heavy set, I'm looking at maybe a five shot kill. A five to six shot kill if they do have heavy set but at this fire rate more than covers it plus i've got 71 rounds in the magazine i don't have to constantly keep reloading like i do if i have an m1 carbine or if i do if i have a grease gun or the machine pistol 34. now if it was an mp40 again different story mp40 has a 30 round mag of course i do have the pistol unlocked i just haven't purchased it yet and i am currently working as you can see on unlocking the ppsh 41 for my tanker which will be a great, a great increase. A, a thousand something rounds. Trust me, it'll be fun. But it, there are alternative builds that you can do. So let, again, my build, guys, is entirely my play style. Your play style may vary. And if it does, here's a few play styles I think you might enjoy. First things first, we'll take a look at the equipment that you need. Okay? So if you could go with the close combat weapon, close com combat weapon build. Binox and a wrench. Of course, I don't own the wrench just yet. So that's five out of the six points. So that's two. Uh, uh, sorry, that's no, not. It's only four. Sorry. So yeah. And then you can also take a pistol instead of the uh, uh, the spade. So you've got a pistol to help protect yourself. You've got a wrench to repair Binox to to spot and give orders. And I believe that see Binox is one point. That's three pistols is two i believe a pistol is two yeah pistols two so you got one point left over do you see what i'm saying guys so you could probably grab an extra mag for your pistols now on the off chance but uh, that's what i would do and then to back up those equipment you could easily go with say something like mechanic to help with your repairs and your second perk you could go with scavenger or you could go with gunner if you have it unlocked gunner and heavy set is going to be the core to to uh, uh gunner and heavy set are going to be the talk core to used perks by most mechanics um it, when they're first starting uh so you're looking at maybe you know tail end of the light tanks where they have a cannon all the way up to the medium tanks and then they're going to swap out, most likely swap out the heavy set for mechanic. Uh, to, to help them into the heavy tanks. Now the reason why they're going to do that is heavy sets to stop snipers from picking them off. And the mechanic is to help them repair faster. So what they'll, what they'll tend to do 
go on the front lines, take out an enemy tank if they're taking, you know, above half da half health damage. You know, if they're taking more than one hit, they'll turn around, back it up to a more secure location. Probably ask for cover from some infantry. Get out and start wrenching away. You know, and, and, and if they're in a platoon with other tankers, they're probably gonna one's gonna be in his tank and give cover while the other mechanic jumps out and starts wrenching on his tank with him. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? And they're going to designate that area as a as what's known as a forward repair facility. Okay. Or an FRF. That's what I do when I platoon up with my tanking friends. Is My two friends have, have their wrenches. I don't have my wrench just yet. Again, I believe it is the... It's not a ribbon assault. It's the, is it, it's either the, the defense, is it the defense? No, it's not the defense. Oh, no, 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 it's uh, uh, armor damage, isn't it? Can't you get it with chauffeur as well? No, no, you can't get it with chauffeur, what about driver? No, you can't get it with driver as a tanker either. Wow, that sucks. So then, yeah, it's going to be uh, armor damage, I believe, isn't it? No, huh. Is it armor assault? No, because armor assault tells you to unlock tanks. Tank driver, then. Yeah, it is tank driver. So you could just drive around like a madman for a couple of games, and uh, uh, not that I just do this. Like boost the ribbon, and uh, you know, just play a tanker, and, and soon you'll have the wrench unlocked. Uh, but as you can see, I'm, I'm silver star specialist in the uh, uh, third third silver star specialist in the T38 model. And second star bronze in the T26. I've just recently acquired the T26, guys. So if you guys want to see a footage on how to play as the T26, drop a like on this video. Drop a comment on this video. Say T26, please, or more tanks, please, or whatever. And uh, don't forget, guys, also let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Do you want to see recon? Do you want to see infantry? Do you want to see... Uh, what, what do you want to see? But bear in mind, I don't own any paras. I don't own any paratroopers, and I don't own any fighter pilots just yet. All I've got is recon tankers and infantry right now. Okay, guys, so leave in the comments on what you want to see. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, my friends. And as always, keep your shells flying. Keep your enemies dying. Your corporate commander is out, guys. And I will see you in the next one, my friends.